An orbit chart is a great way to show the progress of a metric, and building one with rounded ends makes it look more modern than a typical pie chart. The first step of building an orbit chart is to union the data. So I'll go to the data source tab, and I'll drag our order table under our original order table to union them together. This stacks the two tables on top of each other and duplicates the amount of rows we have. And you can see here on the right, it generated a field called table name. This will either contain orders or orders one, depending on if it was the original table or the unionized table. So on the orbit sales worksheet, I'll pull table name in. That way we can see the values. Then I'll create a calculated field and call it orbit dash points. In here I'll type if the table name contains one, then one, else 360. And using 360 will allow us to plot a circle. And I'll right click on our orbit points field, go to create and choose bins. I'll set the size of the bins to 1, but keep all the other settings the same. Then I'll create another calculated field for the x-axis. This will be the sign of the radians of the index. And I'll create another calculated field for our y-axis. This will be the cosine of the radians of the index. And because this orbit chart is representing the progress, I need to create a parameter to assign a goal. So I'll call this sales goal and change the current value to three and a half million. Then I'll right click and show the parameter on the worksheet. To calculate the progress that's been made towards this goal, I'll create another calculated field called Orbit Percent Complete. And here I'll type the window sum of the sum of the sales, which is our metric. Divide that by two since we union the data together. And then divide that by the sales goal parameter. So this will return the percent that's been made towards the sales goal. And the last calculated field we'll need for this is to determine the colors. So I'll call this orbit colors, and I'll say if the index divided by the window max of the index is less than our orbit percent complete field, then one else zero. To build the structure of the orbit chart, I'll start by removing our table name field. And because I named these all with orbit, I'm going to search orbit within our fields. I'll move X into the columns and Y into the rows. Then I'll move the points bin into the marks. I'll right click on our orbit X field, go to compute using, and choose the points bin. And I'll do the same thing for Y. And now you can see we have the circle shape, but these are currently open circles. So under the marks, I'm going to change it from shape to a circle. To apply the coloring, I'm going to move the orbit colors field into the marks, right click, go to compute using, and choose the points bin. Then I'll right click again and make it discrete. And now I can change this to a color. Using the legend, I'll edit the colors. And a new trick I found is if you double click on the color, you can change it directly within Tableau without having to use your preferences. So I'll do the same thing for the one. And since one represents the portion of the sales goal that's already completed, I'll set its color to white. To increase the size of our orbit chart, I'll use the size slider in the marks. And I also want to include the actual percent completed. So in the rows, I'll type zero. Then under the second mark I've created, I'm gonna change it from a circle to text. And I'll remove what we currently have in there. Instead, I'll drag our orbit percent complete field into the second mark. 
Then right click, go to Compute Using, and choose Cell. And change it from a detail to a text. I'll right click, go to Format, and under Numbers, I'll change this to a percentage with no decimals. Then I'll right click on one of our rows and make this a dual axis. That way we can get the percent complete inside our orbit chart. Under text in the second mark, I'm gonna edit the text and make the font white, tableau medium, size 12, and bold. For formatting, I'll remove all of the headers. Then I'll format the worksheet, and for shading, I'm going to remove the shading of the worksheet. Under borders, I'll remove the row divider and the column divider. And under lines, I'll remove the grid lines and the zero lines. On a dashboard, I'll add our orbit sales worksheet. I'll hide the title and get rid of the parameter in legend. Then I'll resize our orbit chart so it fits in our KPI box. And now we have an orbit chart that shows the percentage of progress that's been made towards the sales goal that we set. In this case, I used an orbit chart to track progress towards a goal, but there's many use cases like tracking completion rates for tasks to survey responses, or visualizing KPIs like customer satisfaction or employee productivity.